Welcome back listeners to Unlocking Your Truth. Today we are talking about coping with stress through meditation and while I teach a form of meditation that is helpful for you in healing and developing your intuition, it's also extremely helpful for coping with stress and I've actually taught these meditation techniques to uh, business executives, lawyers, VPs, CEOs, people like that, where I don't include any of the uh, psychic speak at all. <laughs> we don't mention that. We just mention that these are techniques that help them with their stress. And they help. So I'm going to invite you all to join me in a stress reduction meditation. And of course, if you're listening while you're driving, you may not wish to do this because <laughs> it might cause even more stress. Um, but for those of you who are at your leisure, then please sit with your feet flat on the floor, your hands resting in your lap and close your eyes and take a long slow deep breath in and a long slow deep breath out Another long, slow, deep breath in. And out. In fact, there is, there are many breathing techniques that help with stress management. And one is called square breathing. So we're going to do that for a moment. So we're going to breathe in on the count of one, two, three, four. Hold your breath for one, two, three, four. Breathe out one, two, three, four. Hold your breath one, two, three, four. Breathe in, one, two, three, four. Hold your breath, one, two, three, four. Breathing out, one, two, three, four, and hold your breath, one, two, three, four, breathing in, one, two, three, four, and hold your breath, one, two, three, four, Breathing out, one, two, three, four. Breathing in, almost hold your breath, <laughs> one, two, three, four. Last one, breathing in, one, two, three, and four. Holding your breath, one, two, three, four, and breathing out, one, two, three, four, holding your breath, one, two, three, four, and then just go back to that long, slow, deep breath in, and out, 
And as you breathe in, and as you breathe out, use that focus on the breath to cause you to focus on yourself and to be aware of your energy. Be aware of your body, your emotional state, and your mental state, and how how that all feels, even how your energy field feels. Notice if it feels clear, or if you sense interference, if you sense misalignment. So noticing all of these things, having an awareness of what's going on with you, and then be aware of an energy center near the base of your spine, hold your first chakra, and create an energy flow that goes from this first chakra to the center of the earth. Allow it to flow through the chair, through the floor, through the foundations of the building through the levels and layers of planet Earth until it reaches the center of the Earth. Now, this is called a grounding cord, and it helps you to focus on yourself even more. It helps you to be present in your body, no matter what is going on within your system. And it gives you a way of releasing energy. So right now, start releasing energy down your grounding cord. And you can release any and all things that cause you to be stressed. So if you noticed emotional upheaval, emotional overwhelm, emotional turmoil, fear, anxiety, simply send those feelings down this grounding cord to the center of the earth. Just like water empties out of the bathtub, drain these unwanted sensations out of your body, out of your system. And if you noticed negative thoughts, if you noticed a monkey mind, a worry mind that couldn't stop going over and over and over what you're worried about, what you're concerned about, what might go wrong, then direct those negative thought patterns down this grounding cord. Release them from your space. Send them to the center of the earth where they can be recycled, where they can be repurposed, where that energy can be used in a bene beneficial way. And if you noticed physical pain, physical discomfort, disease within your system, you can also send the energy that's tied up in that down your grounding cord. So basically releasing all disturbance down your grounding. A fourth thing worth mentioning is that sometimes, you know, if there are other people around you who are very, very stressed or very anxious or going through some emotional or mental upheaval, you might end up sharing that vibration with them. So you can also send other people's energy down this grounding cord. So do that now and take your time. 
You could even imagine that your energy field is like a, a vessel that's full of liquid and you can pull out the plug near the base of your spine so that that liquid where all of the fear, the pain, the anxiety, the stress is dissolved in that liquid and simply allow it to pour out of you. And as that vessel drains, as your energy field drains of those unwanted energies, it fills with a beautiful golden light, a beautiful warm golden light. It's pure positive energy, pure love, a sense of security, a sense of comfort, a sense of safety coming in to replace the fear, the anxiety and the stress. So allowing all of those things to drain away and replenishing your system with pure positive light, pure positive energy. We're going to add a second technique to this grounding. It's called centering. And what you do is you simply focus your conscious awareness in the center of your head. If you know biology, that's your pineal gland. It's the center of your sixth chakra. It's the center of your brain. So focus your consciousness there. And what you will find is that allows you to be the neutral observer of your reality. And being the neutral observer of your reality really helps you deal with stress. Because it puts you in a position above the emotional aspect. And also um, apart from the mental aspect. And stress really is a combination of that mental, emotional um, combo, you know, negative thinking, worry thoughts, um, and, you know, fear, a vibration of fear. So Sometimes when we're in that vibration of fear, we feel frozen, we can't move. It's really hard for us to navigate out of that. But if you place your conscious awareness in the center of your head, all of a sudden you're watching it, but you're above it. You're not a part of it. You're not blended with it. You can realize yourself as being separate from that, and it makes it easier for you to direct it down that grounding cord. So, so sit there in the center of your head and notice how that assists you in what you've already been doing to be very neutral about it. The other thing about all of these techniques, the breathing, the breath work, the grounding and the centering is they all bring you into the present moment. And one of the things that I've found in any times of stress that I've been in in my life, that that is the best thing that you can do is be in the present moment. Because what we tend to do is we tend to project into the future of all the horrible things that might happen next. <laughs> And we tend to dwell on the awful things that happened in the past that put us into an emotional state. So if you can pull your energy into the present moment and, um, and if you can breathe and you can ground and you can center, it helps you tremendously to take charge of feeling stressed. So... Be in the center of your head, continue draining whatever is causing any stress in your life 
down that grounding cord and continue to breathe deeply as you do this. Release any resistance down your grounding. Because if you get yourself into a state of resistance, it makes it harder for you to release and let go. It makes it harder for you to surrender and be in a state of flow. And remember, you are an infinitely creative being. And that you can, there's always something that you can do to shift your energy. And if you shift your energy, you shift your reality. And so maintaining your vibration in a state of stress, which includes fear and worry and, and anxiety and all of those things, then it results in um, a reflection of that vibration in your reality. So, so the more that you can release those things from your system, and the more that you can raise your vibration and clear and clarify your energy, then the more that the things that are causing the stress, well, the less they appear in your reality. So be in the center of your head and be grounded. And then just have a look at, um, on a scale of one to 10, how stressed you're feeling now. And if it's not zero, take whatever percentage remains and drop that down your grounding cord. Simply relaxing and releasing and letting go and feeling it drain away. Viscerally feel it draining away. Leaving your system. You don't need this. And you can choose not to carry it. You can choose to let it go. We don't even need to know what it is. Sometimes we get stuck on things. We, need, we, we sort of go, well, I want to know why I feel this way and what's going on and what's the answer. <laughs> and we hold on to it. But you know what? If it doesn't feel good, it's out of alignment. And actually, you don't need to know what it is. You can just release that out of alignment feeling until you feel a sense of um, connection. And let's just focus on that for a second. So be aware of a gold sun that represents your divine soul. Be aware that you are an emanation of light and energy from that divine soul. And let that be the light and energy that is replacing the stress that you released. And feel yourself matching that vibration. Feel yourself being at one with that vibration. And you can take a couple of deep breaths and then we're going to come out of the meditation. <clears throat> 